motorcycle adventure Dirt Bike TV, supported proudly by Adventure Spec in the UK, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, Adventure Moto in Australia, Pirelli Tyres, Motor Oils, RK Chains and Australian Adventure Bike Magazine. Nugget and I have had two great wins. Firstly, we've been invited by Craig Woody Woodward and the lease of Elwood Motorcycle Adventures to join them on a 10 day adventure from Cairns to Darwin and then go exploring with them in the Western Australian Kimberleys where they hope to expand their motorcycle adventure tours. And to make it even better, Husqvarna Australia have given Nugget and I two brand new Husky 701s to ride on this 7,000 kilometre adventure across Australia's tropical top end. Nugget and I were over the moon when Husky offered us the bikes. I'd recently ridden the Husqvarna Long Range and had been very impressed. The Huskies are light and powerful with excellent suspension and handling. Out of the box they are a premium adventure mount and require little modification, just an off-road bash plate, metal handguards and rally pegs. In the previous episode we rode from Cairns to Kurumba. The second day of the leg was 560 kilometres with muddy conditions that challenged riders and stretched fuel ranges beyond the bike's limits. But this is the beauty of an organised ride. Everyone arrived at Kurumba, even if it was a little late. But what they did walk away with was a bag full of lifelong memories. Nugget and I are loving the Husky 701s that ate up those conditions. Funniest moment for me was when Nugget weed beside his bike and got squid to believe he had major mechanical issues. Hey, what's coming out of your bike? Trail back to your bike, look. Look. Oh shit. What's that? I don't know, mate. I just started coughing and fluttering actually, that's why I pulled up. Well, we've got a problem there, mate. you got something going on, that's fuel. No. You reckon? Fuel? Is that fuel? No, it tastes. It doesn't taste like... Hey. It's modern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you... That's free! Oh, From Corumba, we're moving into the Gulf of Carpentaria and have our sights set on Lawn Hill, which has a stunning gorge for swimming. But first, I have some bike maintenance to tend to. My fork steels really Hopefully didn't like yesterday's it. mud and they're leaking, so I need to give them a quick yeah, clean. So I just found this bit of plastic in the garbage bin, it's just the right thickness. Right. So the secret with that, if you make one, is just see how it's tapered. So that just slips straight underneath. This may work, may not. We're heading roughly along Savannah Way, which is a mixture of tar and dirt. We're taking a couple of detours here and there to see the sights. Tonight we'll catch up with a support vehicle that we haven't seen for a couple of days. And that means a cooked meal, a big campfire, lots of bench racing, a couple of beers and dessert. Nugget, what the, what are you doing over there? Oh, friendly Nugget. Here I am out in the boiling sun filling my bike up with fuel. So we're talking state of origin. Yeah, well. Oh, he doesn't mind football. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and cool here. Air conditioning blowing on my hairy back. <laughs> Dry my hair, that's what it's doing. Paid actor, is that it? 
I ain't no paid actor. I'm just one of his three mates who uh, can get some time off. <laughs> the only one of his three. Yeah, this is Ewan McGregor. This is our competition, Ewan. There's a smidgen on you. Yeah, I reckon you've got it all over him, mate. He's got no personality. We're, we're coming bit, for you, Ewan. We've got a bit of downtime here because of an accident, so he's, he's a little bit injured, injured the big Tenere. Um, I'll just come over here and I was going to hop in for a sleep. <laughs> That probably let you. Yeah, yeah so you got a little kids bunk in there. <laughs> little kids bunk. Yeah, this is my world. Nugget's got the Nugget's got the long range over there, and this is my world. Fuel bladders. Up here, the LR is king. Long range husky. That's what you need to do adventure in the top end. They go. They're off the bikies. Elwood Adventures. Look at it. How's this? We're at a beautiful little place. God, it was dusty getting in here. So I'm going to go El Natural tonight. No, not too natural. Just a bit of fly screen. I'm not going to put the cover on. I'm going to risk it. I don't think it's going to rain. Now, that, that mud was like concrete. It'll be, it'll be interesting if that seal keeps its integrity tonight. We'll find out in the morning. So Darren ended up with the... His shoulder's broken just up the top. He's got a fracture at the top of his shoulder. And um, so if you're gonna do an injury, he's done a really good one. I can't believe he rode out with that injury, but anyway. Needs a medal. Good Samaritan nugget, he's putting up the tip. That's it. Yeah, but again, we had to pay you $9 to do that. <laughs> one beer. One beer, was one it? Beer oh, I'll take the beer. They're deer out here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to swap the shirt for crew. I said, Tom, like I got the old <laughs> tours on them. Well, I made two days on the tour, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so we haven't seen the truck for three days. This is the day. So, it's good to see it. So it's a kind of an unsupported ride. You just go along with camping gear. Where are we, Woody? Where are we? Looks beautiful. It is. Have you been down the water yet? No, I'm just about to head down. You better get down there before the sun goes down. Beautiful yeah. Down there. Okay. Fresh water props. Yep. It's worth swimming now? Or? Definitely. Alright. Half the crew are already down there. Alright, I'll get down there. Mm. Alright. <laughs> oh, I'm only a little bloke here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send the flow to you before you know it. Yeah, yeah, it's over a foot. I'm, uh, I'm up in the neck. <laughs> it's not very deep just there though. <laughs> Jesus, here he goes. He's in. <laughs> 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 well, I've had two grey hamburgers that we're out doing it tough. I'm just about to put the billy on and cut some cake up. Oh, cake for my cake hole, that's a good idea. It's a bit of bench racing going on here. 
Anita, look at this, trying to start Woody's bike. Here they go, they're... Oh no, have they got it going? Oh no. Oh no. This is not good, he's in a cloud of dust. There's me as a pensioner. Alright, watch this, this is quick. Cut starting Woody. Get it in a high enough gear. That's the way. That's the way you do it. Side. And yeah, that looks good. Clear water is always deeper than it looks though. So what Elise and I are, are riding on now is the airstrip for Lawn Hill Station. And these farms are enormous. And I'll just I'll just turn round. And this is the and this is the airstrip. Straight down there. We're heading this way. Keep running into Brahma cattle at the moment. It's muster time. Thank you. Thanks mate. Season's been good. God, there's a lot of them. What do we come around the back of them there? Just keep your toes in. You do not want to twist your ankle on something here. Oh wow, those those Brahmin just keep coming and coming. God, there must be a couple of thousand head. Hey mate. The willy-willy in the distance was throwing up the dust on this huge grass plain and just added to the sense of adventure. We were in far northwestern Queensland, near the Gulf of Carpentaria, and the twin trail stretched to the horizon. It wasn't technical riding, but it was great soul food. And in this moment, I was having a feast. a good tour but I'm a bit worried about your support truck. <laughs> that thing's older than squid. Right out boys on the Jenga bus, hands up! <laughs> what is adventure to us?
We're having a late lunch at a small town called Dumaji. The fried chicken there is brilliant. And it was good timing as Squid's DR had a problem with his chain. And Nugget was very proud to tell me he towed a DR into town. But the highlight for all of us was receiving an informal welcome to country from a young indigenous man who had a fishing camp close to town. I say informal because normally a welcome to country takes place at events. A welcome to country recognises indigenous people as the first custodians of the land and formally acknowledges indigenous people's ongoing connection to the land. It was heartfelt and we were very touched that he welcomed us in this way. Mad Max! <laughs> what are you done, boys? Oh, it's not our car, we use us on it. Oh, yeah. We just want them out here to check my camp out just to push you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like pump them up then. Pump them up and keep it going. Where are you from us, boy? Um, we're going to Darwin. Yeah. Man, that's a piss up. <laughs> He's down there fishing. <laughs> <laughs> the old Hilux, eh? Hey? Don't make them like they used to. That'll never come undone, that one. <laughs> At least you got a seatbelt. <laughs> you got a puncher. Doesn't seem to be going up, does it? It's only flat on the bottom. I think it might be a big hole in that one. It's just happened on it. Alright, um. Go with the engine in the Myra. Then there is another one in the Dulga, you don't need that means come, uh, hello my friends, come and see our country, And then you guys are going there, so we say Bariwa, see you later. <laughs> yeah. Bariwa. Bariwa. Okay. Bariwa. Thank what you, very privileged. What country will we ride through next? Um, we'll go through Garawa and you'll hit the Angela country. And where are you from? I'm from here. I'm Gangalita, Wanyi, Garawa. What country were we in last night while we were at Dallas Grove? Wanyi country. So that was your country? Yeah. Okay. All the Wanyi people. Thanks for letting us in your country, brother. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for coming through and having a look at our country. You stay safe in that car there with them yeah. suicide doors you got on there? Yeah, and the pool bar too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Barely hanging on there. Yeah, it's a bit wild. Uh, <laughs> Thank show you. Us, show us how you get into it, young fella. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Entry. I was going to show him, but if you can get in there or I could get in there, what do you reckon? I won't fit. <laughs> They're in. <laughs> They're Mad in. Max. Duke's a hazard. So, see you, boys. See you, boys. Yeah. Thanks. A great privilege coming through your country. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, see you. Bye bye. Start him up <laughs> oh, what's? Flat. Oh, Very God. quick. Yeah, it's going like a steam train. So it's just a joining link. Must be from the factory. Yeah. Let's just break the end off it. So we just need to grind that off. Yeah. Grind this off and put a new joining link on. Okay, let's give me a look. That's right. Um, there she is. I'm hard just on the gear, there. Dave. Mate. Nah. And look what I found in my toolkit. Coming. It's off. There we go. Yeah, but that one might not come out. Oh, I see. You get what I'm saying? You'll have to yeah. find that one as well. Yeah. It's true, not seven it's up at one o'clock, you know? Yeah. Someone, and then I see the tradie van oh. go past. I'm like, get on to him. Where's the new one? Right here, brother. Got it. Nugget, no, I, I, look, I'm sorry I couldn't film it, but is that true that you, you towed a DR into here? I've been known to tell a few fibs, so maybe we'll ask Bogo, the proud owner of the DR. Bogo! Bogo, did, did... Yeah, I've got a 36 litre tank and I ran it dry. And yes, he did tow me in. Oh my god. Call me safety nugget. Safety That's right. Nugget. Safety nugget. The, yes. top, the husky toted. A KTM rider. Say that again. The husky toted, no worries at all. Actually, he, halfway he said, I'm going to have to put the steering dampener on because it hasn't gone so fast in the last three days. Nah, I don't remember that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd tell a few fibs. Yeah. Hey? So it's worth it. Toed him all the way in, so it's going to be from foot peg to foot peg. Tow road, so you we'll never tow me in. No, no, I wasn't towing you in. <laughs> we're on the road. Tonight we're heading to the Hell's Gate Roadhouse, a green oasis in the middle of nowhere and the only place I know where you can drive your motorbike up to the bar and be served with a beer. 
After four solid days riding, this was the ideal location for Nugget and the crew to let their hair down. Look at that. Sensational. What's the damage? You can't drink with the helmet on. You can't drink and ride. <laughs> Bloody excellent. Put it down, put it down. Put it down, put it down. Put it down. He's a thirsty bloke. So, would you like another one? <laughs> no. I'll have another seven. <laughs> you, know, you know the rule here? If it comes from India, get it in here. She was like so many more from that time on. back around there he'll get he'll get that's <laughs> ten past five now what's happened to choker chickens late he's had a sleep and he had a big night did he I think it must have been singing too much yeah I think someone what poisoned the food poison the food I don't feel the best don't you Mate, you're singing in tune and that's all that counts. <laughs> so Nuggets met John. He's the bloody owner of Hell's Gate. Apparently you two have got something in common. We're both farmers, we've been talking, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah we're both yeah, farmers, both got cattle. Farmers. Hang on a minute. We own a boy. Hang on, how many head of cattle have you got? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. You know their names, Twelve. don't you? Yeah, or uh, how many have you got? Oh, I don't know. Last count of it, I don't know. 3,000. <laughs> 3,000? How do you remember all their names? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't. They just remember me. But <laughs> I look after them. I got Princess Butterfly, Sharky. Oh, I got a, I got a Sharky. Okay. Oh, God, don't tell me oh, she's got cow go. photos. What's no, the white That's one? Sharky. Oh, that's Marilyn. Marilyn oh, yeah. Munro, because she's blonde. Yeah, yeah. There we go, there. Nice, oh, pretty. Oh, <laughs> bloody <Yeah>. excellent. <laughs> Yeah, look at the green grass. What it? else we got in common? Um, no air. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. And how many acres you got? Oh, 422,000, eh? Mm. Only a little place up here, mate. I've got 50. You'll ride that way today and you'll go past a million acre places. 1.7 million acre places. You, you know what you've got? 2 million acre places. That's wow. as big as a country, isn't it? Mm. But yeah. I might have everything on my farm, but I do not have a ride up bar. No. No. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. And, Interesting. And, John, it had to separate me last night. Me and the ringer here. We were, we were going great guns. You got the drive-in coffee, mate. And there you got drive-in yeah, coffee. Yeah, that was a good night. Yeah, it was good. Thanks for having us. I loved it here. Yeah. So, come back. Oh, mate. Mad TV fans get to Hell's Gate. Yeah. <laughs> it might take you a while to get here, but uh, it is a hoot. Yeah, it is. Great night. Good to have Thanks you. for having us, John. Right, Thank you. Thanks, mate. <laughs> See ya. Thank you. So Elise, what is this day five? We are on day five, halfway. Where are we heading today? So today we are going through Borroloola into Lorella Springs Million Acre property tonight. So we, million acres? Million acres, yep. Wilderness Park in there. Um, so we cross the border today. Wow. Into the Northern Territory. Wow. <laughs> What's going on here? Like, mate, he's one over the... Just hold on a bit. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Driveway service out here, I tell you. Hey, head it. polished and oh, goggles done. Yeah, 3.20 to go. You got, you got 3.20 on, you, on board, Dave? Yeah, I got 3.20 on board. All right. The owner's dog has headed off, followed the bikes. He has. And he's not going to stop, is he? He will not stop. He's a red dog. So he's a red dog, so he will not stop. He'll try to herd those bikes up. So the owner's got to go out on the bike to go and get him to say, hey mate, come on, you've got to come back. Are we wait for Red Dog to come back or what? <laughs> they reckon he make Boral early. He's a bit knocked up, but they reckon he can make Boral early, which is 3.20 without fuel. <laughs> 3.20 without fuel, my God. long range tank, the Red Dog, apparently. <laughs> That's amazing. I <laughs> know, oh, he's got him now. So how far out did you have? To, how far out did you have to go? Oh, only two k's. Two k's. Two k's, red dog, mate. Good red on dog. you, red dog. He's got a good fuel tank on him. Yeah. No, he's a bit tuckered now. Yeah. 
right? He's a good dog. He is a good dog. Have so, a good day, boys. See ya, mate. Oh, have a go at that rocky outcrop there. And that's the reason why they call this Hell's Gate. In the 1880s, people used to, they used to come here, which surprises me in itself. But they knew there was nothing for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kilometers after they passed those rocks. You're not close until it's underwater. I don't know, that little noise that came out of your mouth that, made ooh. it sound like oh. close. Get the momentum up, ride it like you stole it. <laughs> yeah! I've never wanted someone to come off so much in my life. Please God, please God. If there's a God, make him fall. Please God. That was crap. Master time. 
Day five was coming to an end and everyone made it to Lorello Springs. Some of the river crossings had been challenging and although Nugget's undeniable desire for me to take a swim was obvious, my will to stay with my head and cylinder above the water prevailed. But by the looks of those legs falling short of the pegs, Nugget had shrunk during the day. Another couple of days of cracking memories and fun and we were only halfway through the tour. For those interested in more adventure and fun, there are a heap of outtakes that will make you smile. Episode 3 gets us to Darwin, so stay tuned, it'll be out in a fortnight. Jerry, day 3, what was day yes. 2 like? Uh, it was a train wreck. <laughs> it's tough, wasn't it? <laughs> but, um, no, it was really good, it was really good. Um, and the bike? Looks like it's deserving of the adventure badge. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Mate, how are you going? Good, mate. Good. Two blown fork stills. Well, I probably just need to clean out, but at least in a bit of oil. Yeah. Nice and through tomorrow, and um, hopefully get it fixed. Apart from that, it's been performing like a tractor. Yeah, the, um, the mud is just like rock. Yeah. It just sticks on stuff and it's like rock. Yeah, pretty caked on. I probably got an extra 10 kilos of mud there that I don't need, but <laughs> I reckon it'll, it'll slowly break off throughout the day. Yeah. Oh, big get off. Bogo. Yeah. Mate, to be continued, I think we've got to go. But uh, we'll this have is, a little this discussion. This is what about happens when you ride after dark. Yeah, a little bit. No, fast. 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 At least can you. When you ride after dark, you go slow. I did. No, no she got no, word no, that he no. wasn't. So how fast was I going? Does anybody want to? Oh, sorry, mate. So Squid, buddy, uh, Burke and Wells were pretty hungry when well, they got here. This is one of their blaze trees here that were blazed originally when they camped. And the worst thing was about being up here is they just uneducated. They brought they brought stock with them from England that weren't acclimatised to these climates, tried to push them up through this country, which was just really harsh. They brought, came at the wrong time of year during the wet season. And then the saddest thing was they were scared of the indigenous and they were actually trying to help them. And the country they starved in was actually some of the highest like fodder and wheat, natural wheat that they used to harvest and make into a paddy. And they actually died of starvation in an area that was just absolutely littered with food, which is a shame. You know, and when they'd come to them, the indigenous they'd actually, you know, take off and they'd keep moving camp. And by the time they actually found him, I think they tried to save Wills at the end, but he actually perished, it was too late. So it's a sad day. Bloody Got a lot to learn, haven't we? We have, mate, and they, they, um, the sad thing is after all that, they, um, they come to no avail, I didn't even make it. So. No, it landed in a bunch of mangroves. Yeah, like you just would have been hostile. But make sure it's your own name. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Okay. Chris from Carroll. Scott from <laughs> Brisbane. Jerry from Summer Hill, Sydney. Squid from Long Bay for Cracksville Facility. Ian from Beaufort, <laughs> Victoria. Morning, <laughs> Randy Say it again. Who came from out so Geelong. easily? Tony from Geelong. John from Melbourne. Sir. Looks like a bush range with that helmet. Nick from Sydney. Woody from Gregory Downs. <laughs> Dawson, stand up. Bruno from Coppabella. Chefo, Newcastle. It was uh, again from oh, Chris Hemsworth from Sydney. Oh, you liar! <laughs> Rob from Riddles Creek. Andy Richards, Ailey Beach. Darryl Brisbane. There we go. Elwood Adventures, and it's the worst light in the world, shooting into the sun. Hey, one, two, three. One, two, three. So our beloved leader, it's nice to know you, into a crocodile infested river. Do they eat DRs? No. They want to have tough teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get ready to run in. Yeah.
Oh! Whoa! You want the husky to tie you out? Snug it! Snug it, come in. Somebody go across? Yeah, what, you want the husky to tow him out or what? Yeah, I know. I thought he might have needed to tow. Here comes the T7. He's a guy who's got faith in his... Give it to it, Nugget. Here he goes. What's the go with your buttons? Oh my god, what is happening tie. here? It's a zip tie. No, no, that... no clim gear for him on top. Yeah. <laughs> I just have a, I had a big night, you know. I, I know you big... did, I heard you. I all just had, night. A, yeah, had a big breakfast and, um, yeah. I also heard you in the toilet this morning. Yeah. Did you? You know what he did? You know what he did? I, I went in the toilet. There was a big green frog in the toilet. So I said, look, there's no way in the world I can crap on that green frog. It's just not right. So I went in the other toilet. So I says to him, Nugget, there was a green. He said, yep, yeah, I crapped right on him. Oh, Nugget. He crapped on the green oh, frog. I would never do that. With the and then flushed him down. Then he came back out. Oh. <laughs> Securing fuel bladders. All right, so when you're securing a fuel bladder, you've got to be to sure, to be sure, to be sure. So I put it through a loop. Comes through the loop, through the loop, and then through the loop again. That's one. Because if you lose this, you are knackered. Like, this is gold. There's nothing worse than being in the outback with no fuel. 320 you need today, Big Bob. So that one goes in there, and then one in the handle, one through the handle to make sure. And people are surprised once you hit the corrugations, everything comes loose. Everything comes loose. Uh, everything. So this comes through, and then through again, so looped on the end. Alright, again. Mate, will you be able to fill that with that hose? From there? Yeah, mate, some bikes' hoses are longer than others. Some are some are built more like them, I suppose. But... <laughs> I don't know what you did there, mate, but you, like, you dropped your train of thought, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, come on, we'll have another go. Take two. <laughs> Take two, nugget. All right, here we go. Hey, Squid, you reckon you could reach my, my fuel there with your hose? Yeah, mate, shouldn't be a problem. Some bikes' hoses are longer than others. Some are rounder than they are long. Well, oh. it is true. Some are short and stubby <laughs> like you too, mate. <laughs> yeah, they say short and thick does the trick, long and thin too far in. <laughs> Good man, little man. <laughs> hey, uh, I've got another tank here. Oh, no, you only got half. Hey, what about this one? Hello. That's the trouble, you, you long range blokes with two tanks, you're kidding me. Has he, has he kept it up? We're in the middle of nowhere, Elise. Has he kept it up? Has Woody kept it up? Are there flowers on your dashboard? There is. There's beautiful Come. white flowers on my dash. Come on, we've got to have a look at this. Look at this, fellas. This is how to win a girl's heart. Look at that. Oh. So beautiful. He filled it up, cleaned my helmet, put flowers on here for me. Oh. He's a sweetie. God, one in a million. Hang on to that one. I will. What, what's this about electrician squid? Well... I am a plumber, mate, and we go on site, and mm. every other trade, builders, concreters, carpenters, 
Yeah. All sit down together and the sparkies, mate, they're a bit queer. There's something weird about them. Are they? Pens are always straight, coals straight. They have Smogo by himself. They're just different, mate. I'll tell you what. They're talking just coming from a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See? There you go. Even the Dumidgey Michael says, yep. See this? See the this? The electricians are not, not all there, bud. See, look at this. And I guess, you know, this is a great ride. Um, Woody and Elise's Elwood Adventures ride because... You know, we're supported, but we're not. Like, we haven't seen a truck for two days, and we won't see it for another two. And it only comes into activation uh, if, if someone breaks down, the bike breaks down and can't be fixed, or a rider's injured and can't ride. And, you know, that's a wonderful safety net when you're in these areas of isolation. You know, if something happens, you're not going to put your life at risk. And more importantly, you're not putting rescuers' lives at risk. I mean, the, the medical services out here are stretched, and you don't want to add to their burden by if you're, if you're not self-sufficient, and that's what I really like about it. The person who really needs the ambulance is not the motorcyclist tripping around and you know breaks his leg or shoulder, it's actually the farmer whose uh, child is critically injured or a tractor rolls on someone while they're trying to earn a living. And, um, and that's why I think it's really important, you know, tours such as this give you some autonomy. You know, you've got to make your decisions. And How are you finding it? Great. Yeah. What's yeah. your favourite day so far? Second day. Second day. That was the toughest though. That was the toughest. It was, it was just unexpected. Yeah, tough day. Lots of mud, dust, river crossings. Adversity um, makes memories. It does. It does indeed. Yeah, it's <laughs> been a challenge, but a good challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Northern Territory, we're there.
five o'clock, what, we're going to have a, a life-changing experience, are we? Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go up to Inspiration Point. <laughs> I think you meant to do this sort of stuff with your wife, but... Sorry, Sonia. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> You've promised me that it's not more than a thousand steps, so let's go. A thousand steps, that's what I said.